Hello. I see Biggs and Walk, Sean, Sebastian, Shelly, and Anthony. Give us some answers today. A hard J. Doomsday on Twitch. Tamara Britton, Florian Schwartz, Panda Gabs, Abby, Jose Flores, Maria Gonzalez, her POV. Can anyone guess where I am? Mark Friedman, John Agius. I don't know how long the service is going to last in here. We're going to leave here soon, but I'm just curious. Experience tomorrow's art today. Bear in the garden. Hoshisora figured it out very fast. You are correct. Mark, that's one way to put it. All right, let's go. I don't know what this is. Let me see how, how long will this... When I stand up, is, it, is, it, is the camera going to look up too high right now? It's an interactive art installation. Play, it pays homage to Alan Turing. Ooh. My chat phone is going to be all screwy in here. Oh, it's because of, it's because of Chelsea Market Wi-Fi. I, don't, I probably don't want to be on that. I think the Chelsea Market Wi-Fi is the problem. Robert T, hello. Apologies if I missed anybody during that little disconnect. RJ Jones, hi. Oh, Hoshi already recognizes the bricks. Nice. ABX girl, hello. Should I walk towards 9th Avenue or 8th Avenue while I'm in here? Let me know. I'm curious. What should I try to do? Do we, do we push the limits of my service? Should I go towards 9th and turn around and go towards 8th? Let me know. John Doe, what state? Solid, liquid, and gas. Pier 57, rooftop. That's west. Tori, will there be, a, there be a test? Ideally. All right, so I guess we're going west. Should I walk through at least, go through the whole thing and like see how bad it's gonna be today? I have full confirmation on all three of my, hold on. Oh man, we went back on the Wi-Fi again. That's gonna cause a problem. That all three of my uh, hot spots are connected. Oh, Alright, so this is this is the beginning at the flea market here. And the exit to 9th Avenue is right there. So I guess I could turn around here and see uh, see if we can make it through uh, the whole thing live. It's not super busy though, so I don't know. It doesn't count as much as it would like during Christmas. Ooh, some uh, some Metallica in a way. <laughs> Just not the band. Things are always bad in your 9th Avenue. That's why it says low bit rate. NYC bubbles, hello. But I guess we can make our way towards 8th Avenue fully, see if anything new is in here. There's imports from Marrakesh. I was sitting in these tables here because I just used the bathroom downstairs. This whole place is owned by Google too, as far as I know. Mediterranean street food over here. Ayada. It's supposed to be a pretty good oyster bar in here too. Tony, hello. John Burke, hello. Mighty Bull is here and I missed you. I had to go to the other thing to say hi. But now I see you. A lot of Chelsea Market merchandise stands. I think this might be the oyster bar. I thought there was another one. But it might be this Cullen Pistol place. NG, hello. A little coffee bar here. I think it's too late for coffee right now. Cream line. There's a lot of security in here, too. A lot of the red shirts are security. Yuri, hello. 
I hear music playing, we gotta be careful here. It's actually louder than I thought it would be the music, but there it is. I'm still having a lot of chat disconnects on my phone. I think it's because I keep going on the Chelsea Market Wi-Fi and coming off of it. I see Paul Little, Travis Weeks, Yuri we saw, hi. The Fat Witch Bakery is here. All right, we're near the exit. And based on what I'm seeing on my on my f cloud, the uh, AT and T was the most utilized here. But I should be coming off their Wi-Fi in a moment. Okay, I'm off their Wi-Fi. Let me let everything reconnect. I would say that went okay, right? What else do I see? Good sounds, good sounds. Wow, that guy, oh, the taxi wasn't actually, anyway. Walter, hello. Isabel, it is almost the case, but I have access to AT&T's higher priority network, which uh, I think kind of did the saving grace inside Chelsea Market. Nanny Marilla wants to hear no copyright music right by the Apple store now. We were just by Google too. I'll go west on 14th. Every Jedi is now an enemy of the Republic. Da dun, da dun, da 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 da. Da dun, da dun, da dun, da da. Yeah, da da da. Da da. I already changed that also out of my clothes. I'm in shorts and a t-shirt and a vest. I'm walking on sunshine. Siri, hello. Oh, we're going west. Sean was set to go to, towards Pier 57. Little Island is also right in front of us. Oh yeah, we always walk by that food court too, right? When we used to walk um, by the Hudson towards the West Village before I started the reverse walk. What did the bull say to the bank? Show me the bullion! Mighty Bull's got the jokes again. Robert Panulo, hello. Thanks, Siri. I wouldn't go that far, but you're too kind. Chris Bates is here in Arizona. Have you seceded from the States yet? Highlines what you see right in front of us and on top of us. I think Market 57 is what they're advertising at Pier 57, which is that food court we see at the bottom where we usually aren't able to go in because we're there at the crack of dawn. However, I think we gotta cross left to cross right. So let me do that now. 
so I don't get stuck. Oh, the sun is out. I can kind of see it behind the clouds. Is that an eclipse? Cloud eclipse? There's no cars right now, so I'm just going to cross to the next uh, location. And then we'll wait for the next light to change. Are people looking at me? I thought Bagels and Walk Sean said people were not able to see it because it's invisible. It's on my neck. Mm-hmm. Surprise eclipse. Do I go to Little Island at all or just go straight to Pier 57? Thoughts? Nobody's yielding. Until the cars start coming and they yield to them because they don't want to get hit by them. Go go to Little Island for a little bit. Okay, I can do like an in and out. I don't have to walk every every hill there, right? I can just, the problem is like the ramp and the lead up is such a, it's, it's a commitment, if that makes sense. You really gotta commit to it for a little bit. You can't just kind of peek in. You have to walk all the way down the entryway. Someone's playing the music. Is it like a pentatonic scale or something? It doesn't sound like a regular scale based on the divisions of notes or the pitches that I hear. It's not me in Dallas, hello. Siri likes Joyzy, that's right across the river. Momo Head does not like Little Island very much. It's just a little park. Yeah, that's all it is. I mean, when they have the little food courts open, or food stands open, it's kind of nice. I didn't even know they had these little umbrellas, though. Is that a new thing? Oh, and they have play items here to play with? Oh, do they mean, they must mean all the chairs and stuff, too. I guess there's hula hoops they can have you play with. And there's like a little theater on the other side. But yeah, we don't need to, we don't need to see the whole thing. We can go inside that food court at Pier 57. And I think you can get to the roof also, which is where Big as a Walk suggested. Okay, in and out. The pretzel there is decent. When it's open. What about, did, did, were you in the chat this morning when we watched the squirrel tear into a box of pretzels? I gotta get that up on a reel, on, Insta, on, a, on TikTok, and maybe Instagram. power button is very loose on the pixel. Hmm. I don't know if it's the case. It might be the case. I think it's the case. Interesting. Hope it doesn't fall off. Yeah, why is it this loose? Oh, you missed it? Yeah, we found one of those, you know, uh, food stands, the hot dog carts that also sell soft pretzels. You know, how they get a delivery early in the mornings, they just sit on those carts until somebody unpacks it all. Well, they had a soft pretzel delivery in one of the boxes, and there was a squirrel just going to town, ripping through the top of the box and just getting the bagels, like bagel chunks flying everywhere. It was it was rabid for uh, for pretzels. Mel the bells here. This is another eclipse. No, just me. Oh my god, doesn't fall in. Just hopping up to get a photo. Does it? <laughs> Saint? I hope so. I want to be cool, man. Uh-oh. I'm at 20,480 steps so far. Oops, sorry. I'm making my way left so I can go into the... Uh, up that little walkway towards the market. 
Well, I guess we can go to the... No, the main entrance is around the corner, so I don't know if I should go that way or... No, I'll just go around. I'm going to go in the side entrance. Susie Q, hello. Dallas ain't got no sun. It's colder there than it is here right now. 55? We're at like 60, aren't we? Like 62, if not. What did... What did uh, 62 is what Nightbot said, yeah. The Saint, hopefully one day. For now, enjoy it virtually. Well, yesterday was quite warm. Uh oh, the music playing. Is that going to be a problem? Hopefully it stays pretty quiet. Ah, there's like a cherry picker screwing around over there. Ah, oh, this music. I don't know about this music. We might have to keep this noise... Uh... I don't know which way it's going to go. This way? Okay. No, don't. Use other door to enter. Okay. Oh. This is the entrance? Alright, let's see if the service survives in here. Yeah, I'm muting a little bit because I don't know what the music situation is going to be like uh, inside. Sure. I don't hear too much... Ah, oh, smells good in here. I don't hear too much music, so let me unmute. If we hear the music, we'll go back on. We'll see how the service goes in here. Oh, already getting some, some glitching. Ooh, big drop in bitrate. Wow. This was not an easy location to stream. But hopefully we get a little bit of it like in a big metal box. Ooh, the bitrate is so low. Wow. I think Verizon is, is handling this one the best right now. Well, let's, let's see how long this lasts before things drop out completely. If we see the pigeons, then we know. Other shuckers. Is this an oyster stand? It might be. Three for fifteen on that class. Uh huh. Okay. Not bad. It's not me five rising for the prices. I can understand. Um, I don't know if the outside there is much of anything. So let's go down the middle. Sixty-five in Wisconsin. Darby, hello. Lolo's on the water. Yeah, this is a cool food court, right? I think that I first saw Yo Ange go into this place. James Beard Foundation. Ooh, an Italian wine bar and sandwiches. Ooh, let me look at these sandwiches. Cat Yellow, hello. Wow, these look pretty good. Can you see these? So they serve alcohol? They do, absolutely. This is an Italian wine bar. What is this? This is Zab Zab. Samtum. Oh, is this a um, this is a Thai place? I think it's Thai. Based on uh, Larb and Samtum, I think. Looks cool. And then yeah, the uh, little wine bar sandwich. I mean, it's also probably pretty cool to work here. I mean, you get to look out at the water all day and it doesn't look super busy. Beso. Is that, is that a piano just there? Uh, oh, chicken. Crispy rice sushi. Japanese fried chicken. Nice. Oh, Namwa. Wait a second. Don't they have a... Uh, aren't they the, um, the dim sum place from the little street in Chinatown? Can, you give a, can I give you a sense of prices? Uh, they don't list a lot of prices in these places. Not on, the, not on the big menu anyway, maybe the little menu. An eight piece dim sum set to pick from two options is 15 bucks. You can get some no <laughs> noodles to carb your enthusiasm about 14 to 16 bucks.
Harlem Hops. Oh, look at this place. You get to see the creations. Platform by James Beard Foundation. Wow, what is this like? Is this, all, is this only like a catering thing? Or do you like come in for a whole culinary uh, experience with like everything? That sounds cool. I hope that music wasn't too loud. Oh, did I go too far? I don't know. Where, when did, did I go? When have I gone too far? That's like not okay to be in anymore. <laughs> I've heard that song before. I actually like it. Oh, is Noah here? Driver's seat. We're in the Pier 57. They have a whole thing over here. They were, oh yeah, how do we get to the rooftop? Please use other... Can I just take the stairs? Can I take the stairs up there? Oh yeah, I can. It says rooftop park. Okay, let's go upstairs. Always in the morning. It makes it easier if you just say morning. You don't have to worry about time of day. There's actually quite a bit of stairs to go up. Is there another set of stairs to exit or do I have to take either these stairs or the elevator? stairs. Nothing we haven't done <laughs> before, but you know, not an insignificant amount. Okay, we made it up. Gotta go both ways. Let's go, let's go this way first. Best rooftop, it depends, yeah. I feel like one of the central ones is nice because you get views of everything. But I like the experience at One World Trade. I can show you most of the rooftops from here, I think. Looking south, there's like only one big one. And that's, uh, what is that sound? Is that the helicopter? There is a helicopter up there, it's very loud. Can you see it? But yeah, the One one World Trade is over there. That's a nice observation deck. Oh, for the sunset, George, that's cool. Yeah, it's a nice, yeah, this has to be a nice spot to watch the sunset. A little cloudy today, so I don't know how it's gonna look if we, I don't think we're gonna stay that long anyway. I'm just checking it out. It still says keep off the grass. I don't know if they open that up later in the season. Oh, there's like other decks that's probably not public. Ugh. Sticky. Chelsea Piers that way. And like uh, the the driving range and other other things. Taxi's ever seen it? Yeah, it's never busy for now, <laughs> until it becomes very popular. Okay, some of the other decks. Um, you can see the edge at the top there. Another helicopter flying overhead. Uh, can't see the Empire from here. At least not from this view. 
Oh, there's a higher deck, I think. No, I see caution tape. So I don't know if there's a way to get up there right now. Why are there cones? I mean, they still can. They have all this space up here. They should make this, whatever this is, some sort of a bar, right? Looks like they're working on something. Well, not right now, but in general. Oh, but you could see, you could see one Vanderbilt from here too. In between those two twisty buildings. That has a name that I think I've heard uh, Dutch Maz use before and I've forgotten because I'm an idiot. No, like the, the actual like formation. I don't know. Bonjour. Hello. Oh, can we get up there through these stairs? The min min middle ones? Let's see. I think so. Oh, they could do like performances up here and stuff. I think this is as high as we can go. Oh, there's the Empire State Building. Lawrence, see you later. Have a good one. Stadium seating, that's what it's called. Oh yeah, there's caution tape. Oh, they're actually working on stuff back. There's caution tape. The Whitney. The High Line. Ooh, we got a little service glitch there. Hmm. My stream is stuck, says Noah. Is it stuck for anybody else? Swanky Laxer. What time is it over there right now, Swanky Laxer? Oh, let's go back down. So it looks like those stairs are the only way out of here, right? The same ones I took. Unless someone knows another... Exit. Have I done any ferry tests on this setup? I don't think I've done it with the extra AT&T thing. Not yet. Like, is there another way to exit off of here, or do I have to go back the way I came? Like, this says no re-entry from the stair, but can I use it to go all the way down? Because it also says no re-entry. Like, am I going to get stuck in there and get in trouble? Or should I take the same stairs that I took? I'm not an expert in this place. I just don't want to get stuck. Oh, there's bathrooms up here too? That's cool. It might be, Noah. It might be. Testing the rides to Staten Island. Or Rockaway would be good. Yeah, there's a bathroom up here. It's great. And a water fountain. And some paper towels. And I guess a little dog bowl. All right. Don't be a hero. Go back the same way. Okay. I mean, authorized personnel, but it's like a big open deck up there, too. It's not like there's a lack of space, though, so it's a cool place. Alexander Kozachonik. Hello. I'm not a sterologist, but I pretend to be. I play one on YouTube. Look at all these little flowers, too. It's like all really nicely landscaped. Look at that. Look at all these little flowers. Bum bum beat em. And I guess that'll all fill in with greenery soon enough. It's a cool spot. Coco gadget copter. Yeah. I'm ready. And you can hide under the stairs too, I guess, if it rains. Are these see-through stairs or are they just have a proper... No, you get rained on. They have holes. All right, still though. Yeah, right, Biggs and Walk, Sean? What do we get on the east side? We get, we get to play on the FDR. 
Is this the way out? This is the way. All right, back to the stairs. More construction. Bum, bum, bee, dum, bum, bum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ambrose takes pride in public urination. Is that Jersey or, or New York? Or both? back both I kind of want to keep uh, stay inside the building and go more west until we figure out what the limitations are like what's too far how far can we go that's too far like, they, haven't, they even have this like a little indoor area that's kind of cool it's community spaces in here more restrooms and the elevator to the roof. Look at this place. Where's Mets Stadium? Different borough. Oh, there's a whole thing going on. It's like a show or a meeting or something in there. Local family programs are talking about some sort. Of, oh, it's a ULI event, I think is what they said. Discovery tank. I think I've gone too far. Oh, there's like an, an interactive games and an environmental classroom. This might be something to bring Baby Commuter to. Why not Discovery Zone? Is this place relatively new? I don't know how new it is actually. So it looks like you can actually go to the whole Discovery area here and... Oh yeah, this is a good place to bring kids. Wow. Okay. It's good to know. A little educational zone. DZ at Discovery Zone. UTI, it's a little different. <laughs> Ambrose. Yeah, I don't know how new this place is. It feels new. I bet this place is also owned by Google. Thanks so much, Sean. But th that event is actually pretty filled up, too. There's a lot of people in there. It's like overflow seating. Sitting on the boxes in the back, there's standing room only. He doesn't walk, Sean doesn't know? This is unacceptable. I think I could exit through here again if I have to. Well, let me just make sure we didn't miss any of the food shops uh, at the food hall. David Randall, hello. DZ, not discover reason, but not all the exits are, are exitable. That one's emergency exit only, it says. Well, they have like, they have real fiddly fig tree plants. Ficus, I believe they are actually. I want to try this, the, the platforms. Can anybody look up the platform James Beard Foundation culinary experience? There's a QR code here if anybody wants to Search it. Did he did say that, George? Yeah, that's what I figured too. Oh, the music got louder at Namwa. All right, let's uh, let's make our. Can we exit? No, I don't think we can. We were over there. We didn't have an exit on that side. I think we got to exit on the same side. Or back towards the road. Justine, hello. Saint enjoyed the Brooklyn Bridge walk. Oh, we're coming out. Let's go out the main way. I think the city winery stuff is on my right. People are eating some off paper plates. Is there like a like a buffet thing in there? A little coffee shop as well. Oh, things are a little glitchy over here. Are people cosplaying today? Why? Is today... Is there any convention today? Huh. 
Whoa, what is this place? Oh, it's Google again, okay. All right, let's go outside. Yeah. Yeah, there were people cosplaying as like Spider-Man and Spider-Gwen. Yeah, it says Google pretty obviously on it. I wonder what Google does in there. Will we be able to make it through? Let's go through. Well, we still can. Yeah, is that that same cherry picker that we saw when we first went into that place? Is that how long it took him to get to, to where he needs to go? And they get a garage? What? Does Google have their own little server rack in New York? I'm assuming they wouldn't. It'd probably be too expensive to host one of their server farms in, in Manhattan itself, even though they have all this real estate here. I imagine they wouldn't, but what do I know? I wonder if you can make your way around the uh, driving range yet. It used to be locked off because of, or blocked off because of um, some sort of work they were doing. That's correct. Saint and it is a cool building. Another good example of Art Deco. Oh, the name of those twisty buildings are the One High Line. One High Line. Super cheap, super cheap. Super wow. Are there like an actual public record of all the places Google owns in the city already? Because I think they own a lot of stuff. I mean, they're no NYU or uh, who's the other one? Cornell they own a lot, right? The most or Columbia, whatever. Are they like the same now? Yeah, I wonder. We're gonna find out. Hopefully they'll they'll have it blocked off way sooner than actually walking all the way around. Pier 59 has cocktails too. Oh, that's a fancy looking catering zone in there. Oh man, I wonder how much that goes for. Rocket City or I think one of our holiday parties is supposed to be in one of these Chelsea Piers buildings this year. We haven't had it in a while. JP Morgan is biggest by square footage. Oh, hey, it looks like it might be open to walk around. Unless it's all the way closed on the other side. I guess we're gonna find out. Nightbot's screwing around again. Here's the driving range. There's no. There's only like a 15 people up there hitting balls. Did you, Ambrose? Really? What have you done? Kasim Simmons is happy that Cody Rhodes finished the story. Ooh, I like that NASA backpack. He did it. Yes, it was a good ending. It was a good ending. I think people were hoping that um, The Rock uh, would have faced off against Stone Cold rather than John Cena, but I guess you know, they got what you got. I went noise suppression for a moment just because of the music. All right, I'll go back. Kalf doesn't like you. Does it really make a difference? I guess if you'd have to get all different clubs, maybe? That's the issue? Coastal flood advisory, what's about to happen today? Or tomorrow? Ambrose is waiting for the Undertaker. Yeah. Uh, someone else I knew called it also that Undertaker would show up. Like he always shows up. 
you know, you always play that bell and he appears, you know, somebody should like use night vision and watch him crawling onto the ring. Has anyone ever done that? Like put on night vision goggles or night vision camera and like record him scrambling into position while the lights are off. There's a driving range. You can't hit me. Ain't none of you got the power. I want to see Swanky Laxer play golf, but not using technique, just smashing balls like Happy Gilmore. Oh, gloves too. Hmm. Don't use the right-handed balls. <laughs> Edgar Gonzalez, hello. Yeah, I'm curious what the Roman Reigns storyline is going to go to now. Left hand, left hand people are an illusion. Illusion. Bing, bing. Hey, someone's biking around here? I don't think you're supposed to do that. Also, why would you? They're not even, they're like on, on a, on a pedal assist bike. So it's not like you're exercising, right? <laughs> why are you taking your pedal assist bike on this little pathway? There's no technique. Nice. That's what I want to see. That guy seemed like, like he did a good job hitting that ball. Can you fish off of this particular pier? I don't even know. Could I always dive in the river to exit? Uh, probably not a good idea, but I guess. <laughs> you got some kids up there too, why not? Ruslan, good day. Yeah, Kasim, I'm surprised they gave her a loss, but I guess they're really building Rhea up. Apparently at house shows, Rhea Ripley has done that Rikishi move. I'm surprised she does that. <sighs> Q, hello. Yeah, I think this was the guy that uh, rode all the way around. Bolero. Is this the usual bowling alley here? Or is this a, like an updated one? Did they do any updating here? Or is this just the usual Chelsea Piers bowling? Liv Morgan versus Rhea Ripley at Money in the Bank. Oh yeah, Liv Morgan's trying to reinsert herself. Oh man, they got this cool arcade there also. Halo, Halo Fire, Ste Fire Team Raven, whoa. Air Hockey, Flappy Bird, Crossy Road. Oh my gosh, the arcade here is not that bad. Okay. That biker did take a while to, to get around to. <laughs> Sorry. I like that version of the Jurassic Park song that has the lyrics. Those bowling alleys are like nightclubs and priced quite high, right? City Cruise is celestial. It's like just a big dining boat. Ambrose likes Bailey. She going back to her oh she got a new theme at wrestlemania right i don't know i feel like it wasn't super memorable but it was hard to tell maybe it's because of the way they the the speakers were in that place i guess i'll have to hear it more normally a 
Oh, she goes back to like her hugging persona. Wait, Bolero continues over here? It's just, well, I think it's just an advertisement, never mind. Yeah, I think Bailey was gonna win that. I'm just glad there were a lot of title changes, so it kind of really flips up the storylines. When I see on the morning stream, I might have been, I don't even know. Sometimes I just hum random crap that comes into my head, and I don't even know that I'm doing it. You only just got Dunkin' Donuts, Taco Bell, and Five Guys over where you are? Where you are, where you are, Saint? Where you are, where are you? <laughs> Again? Do these little booths get air conditioning? I don't see it on this side. They have a lot of windows. They have a unify access point. And let me look on the back of it. Ah, there is a little air conditioner sticking out of the back. Probably the helicopter's kind of low. Huh. Ah, Blackpool, UK, got it. Yeah, but how's your fish and chips, huh? Only place you've been to in Denny's was in Maine. Wait, didn't... No, it's something else I'm thinking of. Yeah, I don't think I've, I've ever been to a Denny's. All right, let's get it back into the city. What is that person carrying? Did anybody, anybody find out if there's any events at the, in the city that cause for cosplaying? Is that a hockey stick? The good kind, same, yeah, right? I don't know if we have any good fish and chips here. Where do we cross fully? First, we gotta get through this section. Oh, it's over there. I'm just gonna cross over here, because I think this is gonna be a long light, and I wanna be, like, long enough to cross if you're, like, right at the end waiting for it here. B80 on Twitch, hello. Roman's retired. Well, he's gonna take a big break, I'm sure. I'm sure. City Island here is pretty good for seafood, but it is gonna be a little pricey. I think if you go to the last, last place, there's like one main road in City Island, if I remember correctly, and the restaurant all the way at the end of it is like the one. I can't, can't remember what it's called. It's like Johnny's or something, or oh, I think the buses are about to come. Oh, never mind. Denny's gets a bad rap, you loved it. limited choices in Maine. What did we, we had like one fast food place that we had a lot when we were in Maine. I can't remember what it was. It might have been Dairy Queen actually. <laughs> and of course, you know, lobsters. Can we get into the Highline around here? I don't even know. Johnny's Reef, yeah, that one I think. That's the one. Yeah, yeah. Kind of reminds you of the joke about Cinnabon that Louis C.K. did. Whoa, what is this building? Oh my goodness. Can we live here? We have a grand entrance. Johnny Rockets. We have any of those left? Didn't we used to have a bunch, especially like one around Washington Square Park or something? And Sammy's fish box. Mmm. Mmm. Dairy Queen had surprisingly good burgers, is what I remember about them. I was surprised. <laughs> oh, what is this? Maki. Oh, is this Jones Street Sushi? Maybe. 
saw a notification. They're all gone, Johnny Rockets is this? Unbelievable. Do I attend stand-up comedy shows? Um, when was the last time we, I think the last one we saw was actually that uh, there's like a group of retired or whatever software engineers that went to comedy and all they do is roast high paying engineers on their show. It's kind of entertaining. But then at the same time you also hear how much money some of these people make because they have like they have a poll. They have people fill out for how much you earn and what your role is in a big tech company. And then 800 bucks a month for this little half block of, no, full block of parking. That's technically outdoors. Mm. Yeah, anyway, crazy, crazy salaries. And then the people who want to be identified, identify themselves and will go up on stage for roasting. Yeah, I don't mind Bill Burr either. I like him. Empire Diner. I don't know why the signs are, are facing inward. On the windows, they're like in reverse and facing inward. Tia Pol Suban. Or Juban, Juban, sorry. Juban. I wonder what that is. Looks good. Or looks... Uh, Intriguing. I don't know if it's good. What's the cheapest stabilizer, Cynthia asks? Well, there's tons of gimbals on Amazon for cell phones. I don't know how good the quality is going to be, though. That's the only problem, you know? You could buy... The good thing about Amazon is make sure it's actually shipped by Amazon. Oh, if we cross, we take the stairs or we can take the elevator on this side. If it's open, I can just take the elevator since the light's not in our favor. If nobody's waiting for it, upstairs... Yeah, so you can find, you know, just make sure it's sold on Amazon. Just find the cheapest one. If it doesn't work for you, just return it. I don't know. I, there's no easy way to... You know, for, ah, they just called it away. Ugh, it's going to take a while. I'll just wait for the cars to stop coming in, or wait for the elevator. Whichever comes first. And I'll go on the high line. Well, whichever happens first. That elevator is very slow. And there's a bus about to stop in front of us. So we'll play that game. I'll wait for that bus. He's about to drive off. He's taking his time, though. I don't know. Is he ever going to go? I'll just go now. It's taking forever. I've never seen a bus take that long. All right, we'll go up to the High Line this way. Why am I going up the surf so slow? Let's go faster. I think there's an even cheaper one now, Noah. Yeah, yeah but DJ, if you want it's like a safe brand, DJI, but they're a little more expensive. Well, so maybe you can get like last, the second to last model. Maybe. I do believe you actually can conceal carry with the right permit, yes. Oh, is this a newer art piece? I haven't seen this one. Interesting. Julia Cenci? Cenci? In Italy, so it, uh, however you would pronounce that as an Italian name. It'll still be good. Oh, 
Looks a little like the thing. Oh, like the horror movie. Scared this bad. are starting to come out. I forget if these are a type of magnolia or something else. Mercury Romans Josh is here. Another nice day. I think there's a threat of rain later though. And potentially tomorrow and Friday too now. Everything has changed compared to uh what I think I saw last time we looked at the weather. These trees also starting to do something. Trip music's back, hello. Always acknowledge the tribal chief. Acknowledge me. Um, you can get to like, well, there's supposed to be an extension that goes like around Hudson Yards towards 34th Street, but I don't think it's like fully open. But you'll get right into the Hudson Yards by the vessel and then you're pretty much going to be right at 34th Street anyway. Like 32nd, 33rd. But yeah, it starts from around Gansevoort or exactly from the Anzavort, which is just south of 14th Street. Maybe more like 11th Street, 10th Street, if you had to like kind of get an idea. And then it's like overall a bit over a mile. A mile and a half, I don't know. A lot of good photo ops on, uh, on the High Line for sure. Sean, I wonder if that person would have yelled at you on the uh, on the High Line about your wheeled vehicle. Joanne, my favorite part of the city, uh, diversity and that everything can be open. Like no matter what you might need, you could probably find something open that has it, like 2 a.m., which is kind of crazy. But we got a 24-hour hardware store. So if you really want to paint at 3 a.m., no problem. Time's at 5.12, all right. I guess we could try to walk to the end and see what things look like. Uh, if there's any signs of what's going to happen with the extension of it.
Robert Rosanelli, hello. Yeah, let's walk to the end of it. John Winsboro, hello. Nothing good happens at 3 a.m. Sometimes good things can happen. Like painting. <laughs> Storms are coming from the Gulf. Up to the Midwest, head east. Uh-oh. There's like a, like if Burton Ernie had a third person right across the way. I don't know, like Bert Ernie and Squanch or something. Punk's underrated well. Hopefully he doesn't get injured his next match back. Ooh, helicopter just took off. So yeah, see, it's supposed to continue all the way around and wrap around that train yard but that extension has been closed for the longest time. Wasn't there a time when it was open? Re like at some point in the last few years? Or am I just going crazy? Did I? What did I name? I don't even know what I'm talking about half the time. Um, yeah, there's no information about. Winter 2023-2024. I think that's officially done. So yeah, see, it's supposed to go all the way to 34th Street, and it's they're already behind schedule. It seems. I really wish somebody would have taken a little night vision camera and recorded uh, the Undertaker crawling out. I'm assuming the people in the front row can see it, unless he comes like through the ring or something. Uh, Squanch, her POV, Squanch. No smoking, no bicycles, no pets, no skateboarding, skates, scooters. And Sean, stroller. No. <laughs> oh, part of the Highland was supposed to be kept wild? Oh. Like, but they're still gonna let people walk on it, right? John Cena's back. Is he sticking around though, or is he just back for a little bit? Because the Rock left, and he's got a, some, some big name has got to stick around. Is John Cena mad that they cha took out his voice from the pre-roll? You know the one where they go then, now, forever, together, or whatever. Now it's Triple H. I want the Boogeyman to come back. The Boogeyman, and I'm coming to get ya. And he comes out with like earthworms in his mouth. Nope. It was garbage, I think. Yeah, it's, it's annoying. Somebody locked their stroller up to the bench. I don't know, that's probably not kosher. Her POV, the, the, the little Bert Ernie's third uh, wheel. <laughs> oh, look at these tulips. 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 White and orange red. Nice.
Every Jedi is now an enemy of the Republic. Is that like before they turned it into a park, Cynthia? Like it was just there, right? Just these tracks hanging out. Right by the vessel. Are they not even letting people in to take pictures from the bottom anymore? Doesn't seem like it. It's like why Chicago is the windy city. Oh, did you really lose your wind, your your saved passwords, Ambrose? That's not good. I tend to just let them be saved in Chrome. Lights changed. Rick, hello. You like your house and yard? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about those things. I feel like I prefer an apartment for now, in terms of like maintenance and stuff like that. After that car passes, I'm gonna go across the street. Chrome or Safari, which is the best? Well, I'm on PC, so I'll never use Safari, I guess. But people haven't been liking Chrome as much these days either. And if you don't want a Chromium-based browser, I feel like you got to use Firefox then. But some people say Edge is a better Chromium-based browser than Chrome is. I don't know. Vernon Dentalo. Do, 
Being Asia's here. Sean, what are you buying? I'm just looking at food options, that's why I've gone quiet. That's probably enough, I don't know, let's see. Saying, wonder if it's if it's really live. No, it's AI generated. Moon is here. Yeah, I was I was uh, just being a little quiet, looking at food. Um, we could do Subway if it's outdoors. Well, if sometimes I feel like the MTA doesn't like if you film in there. I guess it doesn't really matter. What kind of car is that? Oh, isn't that the Toyota Crown? That's the Crown. Toyota. Oh, Premies open, but they're closed for a private event now. Oh. Rhonda's Firefox work related Chrome for personal. Yeah, I kind of do something similar. And then I'll use Edge if I need like a third thing to do something. Ron is going to get into Hotmail. I know places like Yahoo started sending emails to your secondary addresses saying, like, if you don't log in, we're going to close out your account. Strands are good book, bookstore, yep. And they even have, like, a little, little area near uh, Central Park South on the east side of the park. Do people like the Toyota Crown? Don't mess with us, Moon. We have like no blimpies left, no official blimpies. There is a Jimmy John's now. Yeah, I mean, I wonder how fast things would reconnect in terms of between stops on an actual subway train. Oh, Strand also has a real location on the Upper West Side. That sounds vaguely familiar. I think my friend's dad had that check for. Hmm. Round building name is a square with a ring. It's a square ring inside. Square inside. Square inside. Madison Square Garden. On my right. As well as Penn Station, which is like under it and Moynihan across the street. Oh, we actually have the light if I make it. Who's hey, hey, hey? Someone was hey, hey, hey. Oh, I think 
I think that ice cream man was like trying to bust through pedestrian traffic and the lady wasn't having any of it. That was an icy guy, not ice cream. I think my, my go-to icy from those icy guys were um, coconut. Broadcast from a Ranger game. Wouldn't you get in a lot of trouble if you actually like went live from the audience in a Ranger game or any kind of sports event? Toyota Crown has positive reviews. I feel like that should just be their slogan. Toyota Crown, we have received positive reviews. That is all. Stex may dry rub chicken wings for dinner. Nice. Because he likes mango the most. Yeah, I've always been the coconut flavor icy guy on the streets. Oh, PRP in both knees. That's expensive and the evidence is um, lacking. I would say tell them to inject saline one of those times, but don't tell you which, uh, which they're giving you and see how, how it goes. They still need to take your blood, you know, they have to make the experience seem authentic. Yeah, Madison Square Garden, right on my right. Right on my right, yes. We could broadcast reactions. Probably, probably can't even do that from inside the arena, I'm assuming, even if it is like not the show. 300 a knee, I think, I feel like it's cheaper than it is uh, out here. You, you get New York prices here. Out of pocket. Because I don't think any insurance will cover it. I think probably because it is like considered experimental. No, but MSG is right behind Two Pen Plaza, which they've completely rebuilt. It looked it used to be much less modern looking. Yeah, there's like and a lot of the articles out for those PRP, platelet-rich plasma and all that stuff, are like very biased towards one way or another. Like I feel like if it were truly the next best thing, there would be kind of amazing evidence for it immediately. But it's more like, a, you know, they try to sell it as, oh, it's your own body's elements we're using. Oh, they actually open Osagos numero uno here. Your own body's elements re-injected back after they centrifuge them down. Whatever. I don't know. Okay, right, so MSG is that circular building over there and this new Penn Plaza and the new Penn Station entrance is right over here. And the main, main entrance to MSG is like right over there in the middle. I feel like we, Mrs. Commuter said the same thing, but I feel like getting through into MSG is like still much faster than getting into Barclays. Unless you use the American Express card trick at Barclays. I don't think insurance will pay for any PRP or anything like that. It just is what it is, you know, let's see. We need more real evidence. Oh, the guy's really running. I think WrestleMania had like a thing where every 10 years it was held at MSG. But I feel like 20 was the last one that was actually, was it 20? WrestleMania 20 that was held at MSG? And ever since then, I don't think any big WrestleMania was held at MSG again. Because now they only do it at big stadiums to maximize profits. It seemed like MSG better than Barclays. I also thought like, because Barclays is newer, it's like in Brooklyn, it, it's bigger and holds more people, but that's not even the case. I think it's about the same capacity and MSG might have a little bit more. Weren't they talking about building a newer MSG more west? Is that happening? Is that an official thing? I was at that WrestleMania also, so we probably passed each other, Claire. We hung out. We didn't even know it. Oh, I wonder if I have any photos from it. Probably not. We didn't really, we didn't have cell phones back then. Well, not like proper camera smartphones. I think I might have had a flip phone in 2004. Hey, 
MSG is better. Mono sodium glutamate. Up to the bar. Don't mind if I do. Well, that's good if it worked for you. I just wonder though, like, would it uh, would it have been a similar result with, you know, saline? I'd wonder. I definitely wouldn't recommend steroids, especially if you're younger. Uh, steroid shots, you know, they're known to cause atrophy. So you're potentially accelerating progression of arthritis, degeneration of cartilage, because you're thinning it out. Yeah, you might, the pain might improve because of the inflammatory, anti-inflammatory effects, but you know, you know what I mean. Sometimes you don't even do, uh, unless you're like an athlete, you might even get away without having to repair things like MCLs. Right, that's right, Moon, that's what I'm looking for. I'm curious, I'm always curious about that. Because it's a strong effect, and I think there's nothing wrong with it if it works, right? The only problem is, is it still ethical to do that kind of stuff, right? Can you say you're treating somebody but inject something that's not technically treating anything? Oh well. <laughs> This is a walking WebMT, I guess. Uh, I gotta go through my mom's albums. I'm sure I could find something that's kind of interesting. You know, physical ones. I probably need to go digitize them too. I don't even want to do that myself. I'm sure there are services. I could probably bring them to like CVS or something, right? I just don't want to lose them. I don't know where to stand here. I also don't know where that lady came from because the light's not even in her favor. That's right, I am the mattress firm expert. Norell is here, you made it in. MSG is the king of flavor according to Uncle Roger. I like that character, it's kind of funny. That's right, it's not me. You heard it first. Food in Barclays is not that good. Does MSG really have good food? At least, I, I know, I mean, I haven't been in MSG in a while now. I don't know what that one second was doing. He was on the wrong side the whole time. Anyway. Wolfie's here. Happy go lucky, 25 months of membership. Thank you for that support. Feels like just yesterday we were at a Comic Con too. Uh oh. I guess like, oh, because the little door is open. Oh, and they're stopping right next to the door. That's not a good idea. Why are you yelling? Everyone's upset and beeping. Yeet. Bum 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 bum. Line them all up and knock them down like that. Just me, oos. Day one, this is just me, Oos. Yeah, yeah, I like that song too. It's a, it's a, they did a good version of that. CJ's on a bus. Driving a truck, driving a big old truck. But thank you for that support, happy go lucky. To get a month free, maybe. I don't know how YouTube works. I still haven't found the gift creator gifted subs. Yeah, me too, Kasim. Yeah, I feel like they, they like they kind of just swept Sami Zayn under the rug after the whole bloodline thing, and he lost. Like nothing happened after that for a while. It's kind of annoying. I really was kind of hoping he would win, but. I don't know. And I don't know if I, I... I hope Finn Balor, like, betrays the Judgment Day soon. Um... One second. Hello? Hi. Yeah. And I'll get food, too. I'll probably go a little earlier. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, we might need more milk for the baby. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay, I'll just finish up the stream and then get the babes. Okay, bye bye. Yeah, bye you. All right. Narelle did a gifting in the memberships to Steve Parker. I could see it again. Nice. Thank you, Narelle. Welcome, Steve. When I kind of give away cars, when, when am I going to Oprah a bunch of stuff? Uh huh. Hopefully soon. CJ's commuting. Randy should have won that triple threat. Yeah, right? Who ended up winning it? I don't even remember. Logan Paul, right? Yeah. It's just me, Goose. You able to hear her on the phone? That's kind of funny. We're right under the Empire Stapley right now. The bars on the lanterns? I might have missed something. Moon, he's good. I think there's, there's going to be another SmackDown coming to MSG in June, and I believe we're going to go to it. See, so he's going through a tunnel. Did it, David? I mean, we're. Uh what mm, year is our marriage in this year? It's going to be... 11. 11th year. I had to do quick maths. We've been married since 2013. That's just, that's like the shark tank music. <laughs> you missed the Thursday night nonsense? Yeah, we gotta bring that back. I know. We might start doing it on Fridays or something. We'll see, we'll see. Or Saturday, I don't know. Ah, sorry to hear, David, but I hope you got a good a good 45. Narelle's been putting up with Swank for 28. Get less years from murder. These days, yeah. I mean, do you guys even have laws on, on Australia? I don't know. Wait, what lantern are you guys... Oh, this thing? That? I don't, wait, I don't know what you're talking about. Lanterns? Anime, hello. Yeah, that's the one, Robert. Are you not going to that one, Kasim? I'm just going because there's another WWE event in the area. And it doesn't go as late as Raw. So I can get to bed earlier. And it's an MSG, so it's closer. Steve Cruz retiring June 28th. Nice. Oh, somehow my live stream got behind on my phone, too. There we go. That's the shot. That's the shot. Congrats, Steve. 
you ask for coffee in a bar, the punishment is you have to confront a kangaroo. Kangaroos are scary. It's the wild down under. Anyway. Because I'm barely moving, it almost seems like a, a still image, right? And you can't see the cars or the people. Pedro, Jerome. Hey. It's not me at a practice retirement. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but as long as you enjoyed it. Foster's Australian for beer. Are they gonna sponsor me? Are you taking it with you to Texas? Anyway, thanks everyone for joining this extra walk today. We started off at Chelsea Market inside and did it. We went, we went pretty well in there. I feel like things were a little, we got a little metallic and low bit rate, but things didn't cut out, right? Oh, well, that does sound like a good feeling. Anime's freaked out by the muscled up kangaroos, just like with a Swanky Laxer. I think Swanky Laxer might be part kangaroo with his power. But yes, thanks everyone for joining our little extra walk today. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, thanks for your time. Super chat, super super PayPal, Patreon membership, thank you. Subscribers, thank you. Not subscribers, thank you too. Think about subscribing. Give me your thumbs. I like them. I'll take them. Yum yums. And of course, thanks to the mods. Oh, the X Men '97 rebooted. I gotta check that out. I haven't watched it yet. Is that another one of those shows where it felt felt like it had a lot more episodes than it actually did back in the '90s? I should probably rewatch that first. 60 degrees. It's very nice out. Uh, but I think it might cool down quite shortly. Anyway, yes, thanks again. Uh, have a great rest of Wednesday, Thursday, and we'll probably see you Friday morning for our commute south. Till then. Let me just make sure this is going to work. It is. Okay. Till Friday morning. Six